I love Web Clipper. I use it all the time. But sometimes it's easier or better to copy and paste. I was working on my knowledge base notebook the other day and I want to show you three notes with information that I collected from the internet and I used Web Clipper in only one of them. There's an entire video here about Web Clipper, all you can do with it, and many videos about my knowledge base notebook. Today we are talking about the three notes. So let's go. As some of you may know, I'm working on the restoration of an old computer and to look for parts that I have to replace, I have to know the names, I have to understand what they are. And cables is one of the problems I'm having here. Take a look at this. We have this two different set of cables. They look like the same thing and they have this crazy similar names, composite and component. And this is just the tip of the iceberg. There are other names like AV and also RCA. And while I was trying to understand this, I was creating notes in my knowledge base notebook. Okay, this is the first page that had a clear explanation. But as you can see, there's a lot of information here and all I needed was this and this. So I didn't use Web Clipper. Here's what I did. First, I created a note. That I, and I used the title Composite versus Component. Then I grabbed this and this. It's okay, but we can make it better, right? Let's use a small header here, a small header here. And I would like to have the pictures. So it's just a matter of dragging them out of here and going back to Evernote here and here. And of course, I need some tags, composite and also component. Perfect. And from here, it was clear to me that I needed to know what is an RCA cable. And this is what I did. We have here a lot of explanation, but again, all I need is this small part here. So let's go back to Evernote, create a new note. If I use the paste command, all the formatting will be pasted. And even if you select all the text and remove formatting, the links will still be here. Let's delete this. I don't know how to do this on a Windows computer. I'm sorry, but on a Mac, Shift Option Common V to paste. This works anywhere, not just in Evernote, and it will paste a simple text. Finally, let's remove this and this and add a title. Remember that Evernote grabs the first sentence of the content of the note. If you don't want this to happen, write the title before pasting or writing anything in the note, but it's okay. I can just delete this and add RCA as a new tag. Okay, what I'm gonna show you now, I didn't do in this situation, I didn't see the reason to. It's simple to understand, but when a topic is complex, connecting notes is a good idea. Okay, click here, copy internal link, and let's go back to this note, also known as RCA, command K on a Mac or control K on Windows, paste it here. And now let's say I don't remember what is an RCA cable. All I have to do is click here and I'll have that information. The final puzzle piece here was to understand the difference between AV and RCA. It's simple and I'm sure I knew this back in the day, but <laughs> getting old. <laughs> okay, here's the answer I was looking for. I could copy and paste this text like I did before, but there's a lot of useful information on this page and I'll use Web Clipper, but I'll tweak the final note. Let's go. First thing I'll do here is select simplified article. As you can see, 
it's a simplified version of the article. The correct notebook is already selected, but I could choose another one if it was the case. So save clip. Now let's go back to Evernote and here's the note. So I don't need this. I don't need this. Remove formatting. And finally, I'll add the AV tag, but hold on, don't go just yet, there is more. As you can see here, the note that I collected using Web Clipper has a link back to the original page. If I click here, I can visit that page. However, these other ones that I copy and paste don't have that link. And that link is important, it's the source of the information. So let's go back to this note here, copy the address back to Evernote. I can click here, note information and paste the URL. Now it is here, let's go to this other note, copy the address, note information and paste the URL. Okay, now I'm comfortable with all this terminology and if you wanna be comfortable using Web Clipper, watch this other video and understand all it can do for you. And if you liked this video, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. Thanks for watching, see you soon.